So we're here with Sergey here from War Z. How's it going, Sergey? Hi, guys. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about War Z. So uh, let's get right into it. What's the uh, toughest thing about working on War Z? Oh, it's actually uh, there have been several ones. I can't actually choose one, but I think uh, if you're talking overall, it was uh, kind of hard for us to. We have like different goals. We we wanted to create a huge, expensive world. Uh, we wanted to create tension of zombie kind of what we call uh, PVZ <laughs> players versus zombie gameplay and combat. At the same time, it's mixed if player versus player combat. So we kind of so I think top, toughest part for us was to make the game that have like literally healthy blend of action because yeah you want to have some fun in the game and at the same time uh, that keeps you like on your toes all the time and you kind of scary and feel desolation and feel you are just one little human in this big world. So do you see zombies as a real threat in this game then or are they more just a backdrop to PvP? I think they are a real threat and uh, they are slow. Yeah, so, so a lot of people when they see them in the first time they say, oh yeah, cool, they're slow, we'll just go there and they realize, number one, they still can't catch up with you if you run. And uh, number two, there are lots of lots of zombies there. So yes, they are real threat. So um, I know zombies are headshot only in this game then. Um, is that something you guys are going to keep into the, uh, the original game or is that something you guys are just testing out right now? No, 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 that was like our original design and idea that only way to kill zombies are to destroy their brains. We kind of like uh, went for classical zombies. Uh, so yes, you have to destroy their brain and that will be kind of core feature of zombie combat. So then you, you have melee weapons and rifles and pistols. So can all of those weapons kill zombies in one hit to the head? Or melee weapons take a few? Or how does that go? No, no. It's, uh, melee weapons obviously takes a few hits. So, so, so obviously if you use like... Uh, Basic flashlight, it will, not exactly a basic flashlight, but pretty cool flashlight. Uh, yes, it will take few blows. If you use a baseball bat, yes, it will take few blows. If you use a uh, hatchet, there is a chance you will be like and you kill zombie with one just hit. Gotcha. So, moving on from uh, gameplay, then, um, you know, you guys decided to add like a cash shop or a, a virtual shop inside. Um, where you can buy, like, I think you can buy a few melee weapons, right? Um, are you guys ever going to be able to buy any other weapons, or is that going to be strictly uh, cosmetic or, like, you know, backpacks and things like it's, that? It's, let's say it's 90% cosmetic. So, number one, you won't be able to buy firearms, for example, okay. in, uh, uh, in a cash shop. Uh, you won't be able to buy any items that gives you uh, actual advantage in a game. But at the same time, yes, 90% of the items are cosmetics. That's your character modifications. And the 10%, uh, yes, you still can buy some of the food. You can buy uh, some of the things like, for example, uh, road flares or chem lights. Uh, those things yeah, you will buy in cash shop. Okay, cool. So um, do you guys foresee people using that a lot, or do you think they're going to be using mainly in-game currency? That's I I okay so I think ninety nine percent maybe and hopefully ninety nine point nine percent will never use cash shop ever mm -hmm. uh, because number one you all the items that are available in the store and marketplace you will be able to find in a game number two half of the items that sold in, sold in marketplace is sold only using a game currency so you can't even like use real world currency to buy them. Mm -hmm. uh, but number three is, as I said, I think most players will never even go there. They will find everything in the world. Okay. So then on the map then, um, when you guys were designing the map and, you know, placing things, did you guys want this to be more scary or more just like unkempt and like, you know, that kind of stuff? Like, you know, it's obviously in the future. So what did you guys really go for on that design? It, it, it's, it's kind of mi a mix of both because uh, our idea was to create, to create several spots on the map that is really scary. And if you go there, especially at night, oh wow. Okay. I, I do remember I had experienced like literally two Two days ago, yeah, I think two days ago, and I went to one of the farms, it's kind of a desolated farm, cl close to the main highway road, and I went there, unfortunately, at night, and there was about like 20 zombies there, 
So that experience, it wasn't kind of intentional, but it was scary as hell for me. I literally left with my heart pounding and like, oh Jesus, no, I don't want to go there. Uh, other parts, uh, for example, CDs. So we have two large, uh, relatively large CDs with mm -hmm. high rises. And during the day, uh, those cities looks, it's just like abandoned cities that have been abandoned like five years ago. So some forest to cover, there's some greenery there, abandoned cars, all that. So in those scenes, yeah, it's not exactly about being scary. It's more like uh, to feel like desolation and abandonment. Yeah. So um, did you guys uh, try to copy as much as you could from real world or did you guys really try to build your own um, you know, cities and things like that? It's it's mostly built ourselves, but we uh, we took lots, lots, lots of uh, reference photos, and we used those photos to build environments and uh, locations. But uh, yeah, obviously, it's not like we we opened up Google Maps and says, okay, that's that's a city, that's real streets, that's how we want it to be. So, so, so no, in these terms. Gotcha. So obviously, Colorado is the first map coming up, and you guys already said you have you know. Couple others coming out. What's a what's a time window on release um, after this game's launch when we can expect those new maps? Uh, that's an interesting question. So we have a map uh, which we tentatively call California in the works <laughs> right now, and it's much larger map than Colorado. I think it's about almost two times bigger than Colorado. Wow. Uh, so that's a pretty big map, and um, that's a lot of work. So I wouldn't expect it to be out before something closer to maybe summer 2013 but we'll see how it goes gotcha well i mean any maps are good maps you know a lot of, a lot of games don't ever come up with any dlc or anything like that so yeah. it's good to see you guys are going to keep it going and all that stuff is there anything else you want to leave the viewers with uh, we are really 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 close to open game to general public and uh, it's going to happen in october uh, so guys, stay with us. I know that lots of you guys just waited and waited and waited for the last two months and asking us <gasps> when, when beta will be out, when we will be able to play the game. So this wait is almost over. It's definitely October. Stay tuned. Alright, thanks very much. Thank you. Have a good one.